In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Good morning. Well, an event occurred this past weekend in Toronto that had international ramifications. No, I'm not talking about the Santa Claus parade yesterday, nor am I talking about the leaf uh, losses that occurred on their Western Canadian road trip. I'm talking about the reopening of the Art Gallery of Ontario. This was a spectacular event that occurred this past weekend in Toronto. The Art Gallery of Ontario, or AGO, as it is also known, was reopened after extensive renovations, renovations that cost millions of dollars. The Art Gallery of Ontario has one of the greatest collections of art in the world. Not only Canadian art, but international art as well. And the original building, which was built in 1918, needed an overhaul. Now the temptation is, especially in the modern world, knock down the old and build something new. Well, the Art Gallery Brain Trust decided against this, and they approached an international architect, now remember his name, Frank Gehry, to design the new Art Gallery. Now, Mr. Gehry, well-known, international renowned, the architect of the Guggenheim Museum in New York and many other spectacular buildings that architects around the world call one of the greatest living architects, was born in Toronto. Not only was he born in Toronto, he grew up in the shadows of the original art gallery of Ontario down on Dundas in the Spadina area. He's of Jewish origin and was born to a very poor family. Through his brilliance, he was able to get a scholarship to the University of Southern California and then to Harvard University. And from there, the rest is history. He came back and rather than destroy the old art gallery, he built around it. And he built a spectacular facade that if you've driven by it on Dundas Street, it is breathtaking to say the least. Now the art gallery is a home and it will allow for the art and the collection of the gallery to be displayed in a spectacular way. Let me assure you that this building will bring millions of dollars to Toronto and will stimulate the arts because around the world, culture is measured by a society's vibrancy in the arts. Cultures that have good music, good literature, paintings, drama, those are considered advanced societies because through the arts, spoken, written, visual, humans are able to transform themselves, they are able to trans transcend themselves. Revolutions can be started by a work of art. Let us give thanks to God for the artists in the world. Let us give thanks to God for the wonderful arts program that we have here at St. Paul. Let us give thanks that city planners saw the wisdom to build this magnificent facility. And I, like you, look forward to the first field trips that will run from St. Paul to go down to see the spectacular new art gallery of Ontario as designed by Mr. Frank Gehry. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end, amen. St. Paul, pray for us. And would Dylan Pryor please come to the main office uh, following this announcement. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Good morning, St. Paul. My name is Alex Hedrick and I will be your news anchor for the week. Any students wishing to work backstage at Talent Night should see Mr. Brugman sometime over the next two days. Talent Night performers are reminded to have their music submitted to Mr. Brugman's by tomorrow. The 
varsity girls volleyball team will practice on Tuesday after school at 2.30 p.m. The final team roster is posted on the athletic board by the gym. Thanks to everyone who tried out for the team. Please see Mr. Connolly or Mr. Vickers if you are unable to make the practice. Attention boys offs of volleyball team. There will be mandatory practices on Tuesday morning at 6.45 and on Wednesday after school. There, um, there is a varsity girls volleyball practice on Tuesday after school. Please check the final list posted on the Phys Ed bulletin board. That is all the sports for today. Back, now back to Alex. Thanks, Kevin. Uh, there will be a student council meeting after school on Tuesday, November 18th in room 234. All members must attend. That's all the news for today. St. Paul, the song of the day is Better, Faster, Stronger by Daft Punk. Have a great day.